guys welcome back to my channel it's been a very long time I feel like it's been months since I showed you a Goodwill haul video and I went to two Goodwills I live in North Carolina my name is Michelle nice to meet you and I am a full-time reseller on Posh and eBay and what that means is I go to thrift stores Goodwill Salvation Army any thrift store that I want to go to and I purchase stuff uh, for whatever they're asking and I resell it online there are many times people Especially middle-aged women like my age. I don't know many that like to shop. Most um, just shop on Amazon. And most don't like to go. Um, they like the idea of getting something for a good deal. But they don't want to shift through, you know, hundreds of thousands of clothing at a thrift store. And that's where resellers come in. They take their time. And they go to thrift stores. And they are in there. Like, I've been at a thrift store for five hours before. Going through each and every single item. I come home, I wash it, I steam it, I list it. Very time consuming, but it's worth the people. It's worth it to the people that come online on secondhand, um, like Poshmark, like eBay, um, Depop, Mercari. There's so many places that people that do not like to shop, but they do like the idea of finding something secondhand, keeping it off the landfill, um, you know, unique items that you can't just find on Amazon that are from the 80s, from the 70s, 60s, 50s, 90s, Y2K. And they, um, they don't like shopping, but they like the items. And so that is where us resellers come in, where we do the legwork and the work, and then we also make a small profit because it is a job. And so that is um, basically the definition of a reseller, a clothing reseller. I also buy shoes, bags, I mean, anything. And I clean it up, make it new again, and give it to someone um, for a price. But my time is worth something. So I do, you know, if I purchase something for 5 or $6, the legwork, the washing, steaming, whatever, fill in the blank. I like to make at least $20. Um, at least $20 because that's what my time my time is worth that it's worth more but you know so anyways without further ado I'm just going to show you what I bought I think it's oh about maybe just under 25 items I think I and I was out uh, pretty much the whole day so I'm gonna show you what I bought so the first thing I bought was this dress and this is two Goodwills that I uh, went to here in North Carolina it is a full length I'm gonna say wedding dress or just a fancy sheer chiffon, very well-made, heavy, sequence, beaded, vintage dress, brilliant, size 2X, and it is a beauty when something is heavily beaded like this. I am not just throwing it in the wash. I do use dry cleaning kits, but with this, I'm just going to be um, sanitizing it and steaming it, and the steam also will kill anything, um, but I mean, it smells good, it looks good, and it was very well taken care of. So that was the first thing that I bought. I spent $6 per dress. All right, moving right along. This is a full length vintage plus size trench coat, genuine leather made in Korea. It's vintage, it says 2X plus, but I tried it on and it runs like an extra large because I'm a large to extra large. And this is a plus size 2X stand back here and I mean I could I could definitely button it I could button it if I were to wear it sleeves are, are a little bit big um but yes trench coats are very popular right now you put a belt or if you don't want to button it it's usually styled with a long um faux leather skirt trousers mini I mean you could style a trench leather coat in a multitude of ways in fact it is kind of inspiring me to make a video um, on different ways you could style it but this is what it looks like all right it is full length I am just under 5'8 and it hits as a midi dress on me so I'm going to say it's about 47 inches in length but I'm going to probably style it, make a video with it, and then put it up in my Poshmark and eBay closet. I did spend $10 on it. It is vintage, it is rare, it is plus size, so I will probably list it for $150. That uh, wedding dress, I'll probably list for $100. Okay, next I do pick up bras. I spend $249 to $3 per bra, and um, it's one of my, if you could see, <laughs> my bra bin up there. Bras sell very well for me because again, ladies don't, they don't want to, I mean, me too. I don't want to go and do bra shopping and, you know, be hassled up with 
a million different bras to try to find the right one. So um, this bra, I think retailed for 58 when I pulled comps. And I will probably sell it for 20 to $25. And it's Panchi. And it's a 38 double J, which I've never sold that size before. Um, and so, yes, it's a sheer, it's heavy duty. Let's just say it's heavy duty. And that's what she looks like. And um, next, let's see. Boyish. A new to me brand. My daughter is also a full-time reseller. And uh, she's the one that taught me this brand. And it's called Boyish. And I think they retail for about 200 and um, I spend $5 for my jeans and it is, I'm not sure if someone cut out, cut out the size, but to me looking at it and that waist, that waist looks maybe about a 36 to a 38 waist to me. So I think these are probably about a 14, 16. Uh, when I list jeans, I put all the measurements in the description to help people out. And that is what the tag looks like, boyish. Um, they're so soft, they're stretchy. They are also button fly, which is very, very on trend right now. They feel really, really comfortable, guys. So if you are not familiar, if you're a reseller, be on the lookout for that boyish brand. And it even says boyish on the back. So that was a very good find. I have a lot of shoes, but I'm gonna wait till after I show you the clothing items to show you the shoes. This is Flying Monkey, another brand that my daughter taught me about. Um, and it's a small size 27 skinny jean, but it has that nice, um, piping down the side in like a blackish gray color. It gives them a little something extra. And these are size 27. They look like about a 10 inch rise, which would be considered low rise. How it kind of triangles down like that sign that it's low rise, um, but high rise in the back. So I got those. All right, next I pick up this brand, but only in plus size. So this is Chaps Ralph Lauren, and this is a plus size 3X, and it is just a striped black and white shirt, very well made. And I have a bunch of these in my Poshmark and eBay stores, um, and I pick up size 1X, 2X, and 3X, and I usually sell them, usually averaging about $25. I, be, I do pay five. So I usually get about $25 for them. All right, next are these trousers I picked up, new with tags. This is just a boutique brand. It's really not worth anything, and I kind of picked these up hoping that they would fit me. If they don't, I will probably pull comps to see if they're worth selling. Otherwise, I'll probably return them to the thrift store because Cider is a boutique brand that used to do well on the secondhand market, but it no longer does well. Has anyone heard of Cider before? So it's like, look at the apple, apple cider. And these are just an XL pull-on trouser pants. Wide leg, gray. Okay, and I think they're just polyester. All right, so these were in the women's section, but they're actually men's. And these are men's. Shark Week. Um, by Eternity BC Ad, size 30. So these are men's with just the shark right there. And it is a full-on zipper. And these are skinny jeans, and it's going to take a very confident man to wear these guys. Um, I'm going to insert a picture from the website of the man uh, wearing these. Because it's quite funny. On the back. There we go. And that's what they look like. Size 30 waist. All right. Moving right along, I did not see any brand in this. I brought this because it looked really pretty. Um, it's fully lined with net, but look at that. Gosh, that's gorgeous kind of like an ethnic vibe. It is so beautiful though. It's so pretty and it feels like well-made, doesn't feel cheap. Um, and it just has a lot going for it. So it's lace on top of like this net, breathable net. And that's the back. And I spend $5, kind of like a tunic length. And I suppose if you're short, this could probably be a little mini dress. And that's what that looks like. I'm gonna see, I didn't see any brand in it. Okay, there we go. So it is called A-S-H-A, -A, Asha, Asha. So yes, 100% uh, polyester. And that's about it. Oh, made in Mexico. So there we go. Very pretty. Okay. Next, I found this little, let's see, free people, size small, little denim, cropped 
uh, jacket, I guess, crop jacket. And look at the wide uh, bell sleeves with snaps. And in the back, it kind of cinches in. It's very on trend right now with these type of cinch wearing as a, um, a shirt. And so it has the little hooks to shut it. I think like with a little tiny crop underneath. This is so cute, so cute guys, by free people. So it probably cost a bundle. And I spent $5 for that. Moving right along, I sold two of these in this past month. It's Focus XL. The two that I sold last month were, were one was this color and one was a turquoise color. Very lagging look, waffle, wheat, wa waffle knit, and it has a pocket there, a slanted pocket, size XL. The two that I sold were 2X, and they both sold on eBay, so I'm expecting this also to sell on eBay. All right, next is this Michael Stars, which is a brand that I like to pick up one size. However, this Michael Stars brand is so soft. Um, I might keep it for myself. <laughs> This Michael Stars brand were, uh, sells specifically well around the holidays. Um, look at that, so soft. Because Michael Stars makes holiday sweaters, whether it's Easter, Valentine's Day, Halloween, Christmas. They make some pretty crazy sweaters and they sell very, very well. Very well, 75 to like $100 well. Um, so this is just a basic, it's soft, it's cozy, it's ribbed, all the things that I kind of like. So chances are I'll probably keep it for myself. And that's what it looks like, and I'm gonna leave it on. Okay, you wanna see something funny? This is funny. Check out this shirt, guys. How cool is that? So picture a white or black fitted tee, uh, probably crew neck, and you're putting this on for just a little pizzazz. It's kind of bell sleeves. It's heavy, it's well made. It is Opali from Princess Polly overseas, but I know Princess Polly is considered fast fashion, but this is very well made. Like it's not, this is heavy like that white dress, that wedding dress. It's heavy and the beads, it looks like are all hand sewn. So someone did some amazing work. And this is, let's see, does it have a size on it? Here we go. US 10, UK 14. So, so cool looking guys, so cool. And so I picked that up and that was five. All right, the last clothing item are these Free People dupes. And I have these in black. I brought a pair for myself. They are XL. They are from Amazon. And they are a dupe, okay? And so these are just a very wide leg with a tapered ankle. Free People, um, I'm forgetting the name of the actual Free People, but these were really popular. They came, they always usually come with a matching um, sweater vest and I couldn't find the matching sweater vest, so I think someone just donated the pants or the sweater vest may be sold. But um, yeah, I have this set myself as well as my daughter. They, we both have one of these sets, but in black. And pockets, just really, for fall, coming up fall, like how cozy is that? Just very cozy. Okay, so now for the shoes, guys. I hope you're still with me. We're just under 15 minutes here. All right, so I found yellow box shoes again. They, this is what they look like. They have a daisy flower. They're called Yellow Box. They retail for $200, which is pretty crazy. They're super soft, and both pairs are a size eight, and these are snake print, and all man-made materials. They are not leather, um, and I pay $6 for each pair of shoes. So I'm probably gonna be lift, listing these for about 50. Um, they look like new, and retail for just under 200, so I think 50 is a good price. So those are the first pair. The second pair are these really cool clogs, kind of lightweight, three inch platform, kind of like a croc, and size eight, like new. And those stickers are what Goodwill uses. They have a color system. And if you're a reseller, you probably know all about that because once a week they pull a color. And if you are an avid reseller, or a thrifter, you know you could keep up with the colors. So when you walk into the thrift store, you know exactly what color to be looking for to, to save time. Okay, next, I've never picked up Jack Roger, uh, Jack Roger, Jack Rogers. They also retail for, I think, 100. Very well made. I hear that they're not very comfortable, but these were super popular about 10 years ago. There are some cult cult followers that just wear Jack Rogers. And these were originally designed actually for Jackie O. Jackie O. Um, 
she loved these and she made them extremely popular just like that kelly hermes bag very popular jackie o so these have a really really pretty print in fact when i first bought them or saw them i thought someone diy them um because i've never seen them like with floral print like that and this kind of reminds me of the vera bradley um i think it's called new hope but no because then you could actually see underneath here too so yes, I will run them through Google Imaging and I will find the stock photo, the exact name and pattern, and that's what I'm gonna be putting in the title to help move them out. Beautiful, beautiful shoes. All right, next are these Stuart Weitzman, which I think are vintage. They are genuine snake, and I normally never pick up heels because let's face it, who's wearing, who's wearing stilettos? Like who's wearing heels? I don't think anyone's wearing heels anymore. I never see anyone wearing heels, regardless, like wherever I go, um, even on vacation, but I love them. They're beautiful, so gorgeous. And these are a size seven and a half, four inch stiletto um, snake print, Stuart Weitzman heels. And Stuart Weitzman is kind of like, not really luxury, but very high end. So they probably retail between two and $300 now. So, moving right along, guys, are these new with tag, Torrid. I only pick up Torrid now if it is new with tags, but not clothing, just shoes. Um, these are size 13. They are new with tags. Someone paid $40 for them. And so they are just some Mary Janes. And I just picked them up because of the style and because they were new with tags. All right. Next are some Alegria. Um... Allegria size 41. So these are size 11 Allegria shoes and I'm getting a lot of these in my closet. I think this is gonna be like the sixth pair. Um, in fact, I think I brought another pair. So I think I'm gonna have like seven or eight pairs in my closet. Allegria used to do very well when I first started Poshmark back in 2016. And now it's kind of more of a bread and butter as brands come and go because new brands, you know, people are always cycling through trying to find the next best thing. They offer arch support. I think they retail for 129. I'm hoping to get 50. Um, but yeah, that's how it is in the fashion world. Something gets super popular, whether it's influence talking about it, celebrities talking about it, something new, and everybody rushes and buys it. Or in that in that case, that was like a medical shoe. Everybody uh, either bought Sanita or Allegria. There's a bazillion medical brand shoes. And then new brands come out and those people um, kind of abandon the old ones, you know, in search for in, in search for newer brands to try. And that's just the way it is, you know, no biggie. So anyways, but that brings the resale value of the item, the less popular it is, the less demand there is of it. That brings it, um, it's just not a very good um, thing to pick up a whole bunch of and sell, if that makes sense. It makes sense in my head, but I have ADHD, so I know. Anyway, so moving right along, I have two more pairs, genuine leather, chunky, size nine and a half, Gianni Beanie, which is a brand that I used to pick up that used to do well. Nobody really cares about this brand anymore, but these are amazing and these will sell because they're Chelsea and they're also insanely chunky and they're genuine leather. Now, when I'm looking for things that are stylish, I'm making sure that it's good quality. It's not just stylish and just not good quality. So I didn't pick these up because the brand, um, in fact, I wouldn't have picked them up if they were pleather. But because they are real leather and they're chunky, those are two things going for it. It's the style and it's the genuine leather, which means the good quality, and that is going to sell them. And they're size nine and a half, nine and a half. They are size nine and a half. I mean, they look like, I mean, I don't think they were worn. I don't even think they were worn. Someone got them and then just donated them. So again, I spent $6 um, per pair of shoes. I'm going to put them up for 50. Um, both of my platforms do take a 20% commission. So um, if I sell it for 50, I'm only getting 40 and then minus seeing the $6 that I spent for them. Still a profit guys, still a profit. And your time being out there thrifting and washing and going through a bazillion things is worth, is worth the cost, is worth it. Okay, so my last item are these, again, Allegria, and these are their rock and roll, remember Skechers back in the day? They were like the exercise shoes, uh, not to do exercise, but to walk, and you're supposed to work your calf because it rocks like that, and these are also a size 11. They're solid black, and I think I have three other pairs listed in my Poshmark and eBay closet right now, 
and I know I probably have them for probably about 60 because they retail for 159 on their website. And I think that because these are black and they're the rock and roll, I think these are probably going to sell maybe even a little more. Maybe instead of 50, I'll list them for 60. Um, so yes, those were my last item. And oh my goodness, guys, 20 minute video. So thank you so much for watching. Please check my description uh, for any links that I could link regarding these items to my Poshmark or eBay closet. And um, give this a thumbs up if you like it. And I really miss doing these videos, but I haven't been sourcing as much as I used to in the past month. So yesterday was a very good, <laughs> look at that, um, a good sourcing day for me. I had a lot of fun. And I hope to do this, I don't know, maybe twice a month now because I'm not really sourcing that much. I'm trying to focus on inventory and other things in my business. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every one of you and I will be back soon. Bye-bye.